Hey guys, welcome back to some lousy weather on the peaceful server. Today we want to work towards the larger honey farm again. We've already done some steps. In one of the previous episodes we built a bee nest farm in order to get bees, but unfortunately that farm really burns through bone meal and we used up about seven double chests and got about 250 to 300 bees, I don't know the exact number. Um, which is unfortunately not enough for the honey farm we plan. We need about 1500 bees. So instead of using the bee nest farm, we decided to breed them again, which requires yeah, some more effort. We couldn't just AFK that, but it's probably quicker than try and get the bone meal somehow. We don't have really the, the best bone meal farms at the moment. Um, and yeah, breed the bees and put them into the hives. In order to get about 500 hives, we also need some honeycomb. You need three honeycomb to grow to one hive. Uh, we also don't have a farm for that. So the plan is to rebuild our starter honey farm to produce honeycomb from now on. So Helga and I uh, yeah, went over here and did just that. I'm just talking about the one at the village. This thing would be easiest. Do you already have the bees in place? We just need to <clears throat> change the dispenser somehow to shears. Mm -hmm. Um, but we probably need upper minecarts below to collect everything. Or we, or we change the, the, I think it's on grass to farmland, but also purpose below. Yeah, let's see. So we can also do the bee transferring over there. Enough space. Okay, let's have a look. Yes, it works similar. Don't you just need to change it to shears? Uh, um, then we also need to worry about the collection. No, not though. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. But uh, farmland and move the hoppers. <laughs> yeah, then we need to get a little bit of water up there so the farmland doesn't dry up. Uh huh. How do we get in there without bees flying out? Wait for night time? It seems like it's broken again with the QC, mm. all the droppers. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, um, so we need, I guess, ice, yeah, could... and we can reuse the hoppers, maybe even. Yeah. Yeah, we could just maybe rebuild it immediately. So yeah. break all of that. Yeah. Mm hmm And take out the all the bottles. Then get a water source and a couple of blocks around. Not sure if we have anything here. Try to find something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there like one chest do you use for the statue? It's still here. There could be some stuff in there. I think we also have iron for a bucket, so <laughs> maybe we can do this without going to the main storage. Um, yeah. There's blocks. A lot of boats here. <laughs> <laughs> the blocks. Okay, yeah, let's get some iron. Bucket. Mm-hmm. I can get this use uh, nothing here. Ah, what's here? Yeah, a few blocks. Now there's only two bees. Mm 
So can you change this to farmland without from the other side? Yeah, let's I try. was thinking. No. Yeah, it doesn't work. Mm. Time is it? Sun is going down. Take a while till all the bees are inside the hives. Mm -hmm. Should we be able to the, the glass thingy in the meantime? Yeah, maybe just take down these trees and yep. uh, put it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And place them in here. Yeah, That's also the just in the outset. Um, the idea is now that um, the bees will exit immediately. Um, they're in there for, for two minutes or so. So I, I want to later place them down. Bees should exit immediately and they can break it again. So, so they wouldn't pathfind back into the bee nest. That, that's the idea. Oh, it's also night time. You can make the farmland. Yeah. Okay. And really quick. Did we have it three high? Or... Oh, three high, yeah. Hm. Um, I have to place the class first, probably. Yep. Is this is system broken again? Oh, we just don't have any shears. Yep. Okay, yeah, then we can place the hoppers below now. Still got them, right? Yep. on the side and it should be good. I should all land in front in the farmland. Yeah. One of the next things I wanted to do is transfer all the bees from the nests into the hives, mostly in order to also have uh, three bees inside of each hive. It's not guaranteed with the nests, so sometimes only two bees generate, sometimes uh, yeah, one bee exits immediately in the bee nest farm. So just to be sure that we always have three bees inside, we wanted to transfer everything over into the highest because, well, the, the honey farm also works best. We have the normal maximum amount of bees inside. All right, so one of the problems is telling how many bees are inside of a hive. There's really no way to do this. I actually thought there might be a way uh, with the honey level. So I thought if the bees are inside uh, for two minutes, they would increase the honey level by one, but they would only do so if they leave the hive again. And well, that's exactly what we don't want. We want three bees inside. So there's really no way to tell how many are inside. Um, you can indirectly do it by just having a ton of bees around. And as soon as no bees can uh, yeah, enter the existing hives anymore, Pretty sure that all of those are completely filled up. Then you can break them and store them for later. So you can put them into the honey farm. Okay, I did grab some sand here so it could just melt into glass. <laughs> okay, I mean, we can probably we have wider rest as well. <laughs> yeah. Smelting would also be nice to have some sand again. I have some glass again. I think I placed down too many. Don't have the honeycomb for it yet. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, there is still a lot of like stuff at at spawn with chests with sand and dirt and no, it's gonna be clean, hmm? clean that up, yeah. Well they're going in. Mm hmm. So I'm really hoping like the honey level would increase, but that, that takes two minutes. Is there maybe any of them? Is a higher honey level already? Doesn't seem like it. Uh oh! Uh oh! They're going for me. <laughs> I'm not sure but what's going to happen now. I just have to wait. I think they, they can't sting you in peace. So, oh, this is so good. No, <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Looking at this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this would have been game over in normal. I mean, yeah. they all would have died. You would have been dead. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay, but they're coming down now. Okay. I think, yeah. Okay, now we just breed them. Yeah. Right. But I have one that doesn't stack, so there's probably a bee in it. Hmm. Maybe place yeah, it down. I also have that, that they don't stack with each other. So I got a stack of 64, then I got a stack of 7, and I got a stack of 6. I mean, this doesn't make sense. Okay. Maybe it's a honey level. Yeah. It's probably a honey level. I earlier made a mistake and then... Oh, yeah. It's probably a honey level. Okay. Last time to just breed them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is fun. I think it's just gonna go until the game lags. <laughs> yeah. What? <gasps> Again? <laughs> I was trying to re remove the flowers that I placed. Uh. Accidentally placed it. Okay, oh. I can at least do it while they're angry. <laughs> yeah, no chance in the small pieces. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Get the flowers. Just go to uh, a different I corner. I I, 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 yeah, I if it. I'm... Yeah, yeah. yeah, they will follow me. Now they actually want to go to the flower yeah. and pollinate. I can try to break it though. <laughs> Got it. Is there still one or a few flowers here? Oh, there's still some. One. Good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it looks like we brought uh, most of them. Mm -hmm. So let's make a big jump. So the last couple of days, whenever I had a little bit of time, I was breeding the bees until the game was about to start lagging. We usually had 500 bees in there and then placed on some beehives to reduce the population and so on. And that's the amount of beehives we have filled with three bees. So this, yeah, it's definitely enough. We only need 18 for the honey farm. Get some extra. Maybe we can release those later and maybe we can yeah, breed them again. Or maybe if once we have enough uh, bone milk, we can also use the bee nest farm to get more bees. So one of the issues we actually had with this setup here where we were breeding the bees was that the baby bees once growing up were glitching through the top blocks. So I would just add a second layer and yeah, I had a lot of adult bees also here at the top. But it's one of those things. It seems like they can't really glitch through the walls, just through the top here. This was a bit annoying, but yeah, the second layer fixes that. We have to prepare those beehives a little bit more in order to build the honey farm or make it more convenient. So one of the problems when building such a honey farm is putting in the beehives in the end, because, well, the honey farm would look quite similar to this. If you placed on a hive and the bees would exit immediately, they could prevent you from placing down the next hive or even escape if there's no block yet. Um, we want to prepare the hives in a way that the bees don't exit immediately. And you can actually do that because, well, the, the timer that um, runs after the bees would enter the hive is stopped if you break it and have it in an item form. 
So yeah, usually the bees would go into the hive and after two minutes exit again. So if you basically break the hive as soon as the bees are inside, this timer is saved. If you place down the block again, you have almost two minutes left until they would exit. So we would yeah, do that, have hives that, are, that work this way, place them all down and then you can close the farm again, then you could exit afterwards. No problem with the bees exiting. All right, so we want to yeah get that uh, yeah working in a way. Um, another problem is some of the baby bees also entered the hive. I think they changed it in one of the 1.15 versions. I think the baby bees would actually now also grow inside of the hive, but some of them them probably haven't been placed long enough. So the, yeah, the honey farm will actually have hoppers here at the top where the baby bees could exit. We need to prevent this. I think we can just place down all of the, the hive blocks we have at the moment, wait 20 minutes, break them again, and then we should be sure we only have adult bees inside. And then we can do the next step where we place them down again, um, probably just in front of a flower, they would pollinate it, go back into the hive after 20 seconds, and then we break it. And then we have the perfect hive to build the honey farm. Lots of preparation needed, but that will definitely be worth it. Otherwise, it's so annoying to deal with those bees. There's actually one thing I think this is worse than crafting non stackable items is actually placing down non stackable items. I'm getting a pre 1.8 iron farm nightmares again when the doors didn't stack. You had to always yeah, fill the inventory with doors. Really uh, not pleasant. And there we go, the beehives have aged like some fine wine. I also was checking in a creative world once again if baby bees would grow up in the beehive. Since that wasn't the case in the first 1.15 versions, but it's definitely now. So I checked it in creative, baby bee goes in, and we wait 20 minutes, and then adult bee comes out. Right, now I just need to break all of those again. I just need to be careful that I break them in a way um, that it wouldn't any... That we wouldn't expose any open sites so the bees can't exit. But yeah, let's just do it slice by slice. This should work. Now let's do the final step to prepare the beehives. We want to get them in a state where the bees don't exit immediately. Right now all the beehives are in a state where they do that. But yeah, we can use this to our advantage. So I actually want to make a contraption out of this. So the idea is we place down a beehive. Then all the bees exit immediately. Then it takes them about 20 seconds, pretty precisely actually, until they would pollinate the flower here and go back into the hive. At least it's reliable in the nether dimension. So I'm here in a creative world. Just to show this, we also need to later build it in the nether dimension because there they're not influenced by weather. All right, here we are. All right, if I go to the survival mode and break it real quick from a silk touch X, make sure I've got an empty slot. Where did I pick it up? I think this one here. Yeah. So now I can keep this in my inventory for as, as long as I want or in a chest. If I place it down, the bees will stay inside for an additional almost two minutes. Which is exactly what I want. It makes building the honey farm so much easier. But as you saw, this is quite tedious. I mean, I would need to place down hive, then wait 20 seconds, and then immediately mine it again. If I try to do it with multiple ones, it's quite some coordination involved. Let's try to make a contraption out of this. All right, so we got a little contraption here for two players. Since we're a multiplayer server, it makes things a little bit easier. I can later also explain how it wor would work for one player. All right, so the idea is that one player stands here. There's a dropper right next to the player. Gives him the beehives. Then you could aim, for example, to the side of this piston here. Place down your hive. Bees exit immediately. Then we start a little timer. I think it's roughly about 35 seconds, so we have a little bit of leeway. It's actually super reliable to go back after 20 seconds, but you never know. This has to work a couple hundred times without any flaws, so better play it safe. All right, so once the timer, um, yeah, it's in the other state, then a second player that sits on a honey block is pushed in front of the beehive. And breaks it again. Then a beehive is collected by the hopper. Dropper dispenses a new hive, so the second player would place it against the piston again, and it's basically one cycle. We also try to make this reliable, so everything is really detection based. 
Um, the piston here is extended until the block is broken, then it's retracted, then we got a little bit of leeway until the next hive um, is dispensed, and then yeah, the, the player, the, the first player can place it against the piston again. This piston is also just yeah, getting powered um, because we placed the, um, the beehive there. Right, so you could probably also make this for one player, then you would just need to put the hives in the off hand and the X in the main hand, but then you have little issues like flag spikes. For example, you place the hive, get a little lag spike, and attack the bees, maybe they exit immediately or break the hive or stuff like that. It just makes makes it a bit more complicated. And there's also the, this issue that um, sometimes you do the wrong action instead of placing, you try to break. You need to make sure that you don't break any surrounding blocks. So it's definitely possible. We did something similar for a leaf farm once. We had to place saplings and shear them and so on. But yeah, since we're a multiplayer server, we can also just use a second player, which makes it so much easier. So we're gonna use this two players, and then we should have yeah, all the perfect prepared beehives. Okay, we got everything ready in survival, but we ran into an issue. For some reason, the hives don't work as expected in the nether. So if you place them down, the bees won't exit at all. So I had a hive placed down for 10 minutes earlier, not a single bee exited the beehive, but I think you can hear the buzzing a little bit. This could do that earlier. So it really seems to be a bug related issue. Yeah, I can faintly hear the buzzing. But definitely inside. For some reason they don't come out in the nether. Um, maybe it's something like if you break a beehive at night time in the overworld and place them down in the nether, they don't know. They could exit. Let's maybe just go to the overworld real quick and see if this also happens there. I think I had another... Yeah, I've already placed over here to steal that flower. Ah, having the ghost block issues again. Alright, let's go to the overworld and see what happens. Maybe we actually need to break them at a certain time in the overworld or we just restart the server. I'm not sure what's going on with those hives at the moment. Do have a nice space to just place down a flower? I think over here would be good. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they do exit. Three bees we got here. Let's try to push the last one back in. So... I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna try to restart the server now. And then we have to investigate really what's going on there. Okay, then I was suspecting that it might be fixed by server restart. So let's try that theory. Just did that and... Oh, that might actually been the fix to it. Was the same hive like earlier, now they, they exit. Right. Setup is not prepared, but I can just manually break it, I guess. Once the bees are inside again. There we go. It seems like the contraption is also working now. Let's maybe try to observe one cycle. So I got my friends X and Beehive here. So yeah, the part works fine. Hive is placed down, three bees exit immediately. So really weird bug. They actually have to restart the server somehow. Not sure if this is already addressed on a bug tracker at all. Never heard of this. I saw actually some comments once people were complaining that the beehives are bugged in the nether. Maybe there was something similar. Okay, now they went inside. And any moment, yeah, break it. And place the next one. Okay, that was one full cycle. Seems like everything is working now. Let's do some quick product testing. So here we got really the highest quality of beehives. Three bees inside. They don't exit immediately. Perfect for honey farms. Right, let's break it quickly again. So we can use this later. All right, so I think, yeah, we're completely ready now to build the honey farm. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.